So we've got some asbestos uh, floor tiles here. Um, I'm assuming they're asbestos because they're nine by nine, they thin and they've got all the trademarks. This black mastic that they stuck down also has, it all generally has asbestos in it. So I just wanted to run through like a method of removing these. Um, and the best way that I think to do it, to do it safely, well, firstly, you need the proper PPE and you at least, at very least, need a P3 uh, mask. In order to suppress the dust, I think, again, the best thing to do is to mix up a solution in a spray bottle like this of uh, PVA glue and water. And that way, if you just wet down the area and the tile, that you're working on, it's going to wet any of the dust if the tile does crack, if it's like completely wet whilst you're working on it. If it does crack, it's going to help to contain that dust and also dust from the cracks if the water goes down in the cracks. Um, but then also, once this PVA dries, it's going to contain any loose particles and also prep the surface to be screeded over. I'm just going to try this one now, so you can see how easily these ones are coming up. And this one's at a quite a difficult angle. And you can see that one came straight up. And this here, this mastic, uh, that's likely to have uh, asbestos in it as well. So that goes into a double, double line rubble sack. Um, now wet inside there as well and that will go to hazardous waste um, but it's just a case of working through one by one it's best to use something thin like this and just scrape underneath it and try and break the tile free so tiles like this where they're already cracked are likely to crack again when they come up so just give it an extra bit of wetting and you can see you know the floor's fairly wet as i go past but this is what you'd have to do before you lay screed anyway, is prep the floor with uh, PVA bonding. So just, if you have a look at this one now, that one's come up quite clean. There's a little bit still in there. And then obviously as I'm going, I'm spraying the mastic afterwards. Um, but you can see I've got a few little chips in there just underneath the skirting still to come up and then the other thing as well I didn't see all this dirt on the side any asbestos fibers as this dries out and from being walked on it's just going to be uh, pumped out through the sides so it's probably best not to try to sweep this up at first glue it all down with the solution and then if you you know if you scrape the glue back it's much less likely that any fibers are going to escape one of the things that i should mention is that i said i suspected these contain asbestos and afterwards um, i received test results back from a lab which confirmed they were asbestos containing materials and that's one of the things worth mentioning if you're unsure um, you can get test kits um, from eBay or websites and basically what it is you will pay for a number of tests say 10 or 15 maybe even depends how many surfaces or materials you think might contain asbestos but you take a small sample and there's videos of how to take these samples um, safely but you take a small sample you put it in a baggie and you send it off to a laboratory they'll test it and then they generally get back to you within a couple of weeks and let you know whether or not the material does have asbestos in it um, in our case we didn't want to wait two weeks before starting work so i just assumed the worst and followed that path and obviously that was the right assumption because the test came back positive and you confirmed what we suspected the big problem with asbestos tiles is once you've finished pulling them up you can't just throw them in the trash because they're hazardous materials hazardous waste and so there's regulations when it comes to disposing of them otherwise you could face fines and prosecution so in our case because we're a private resident 
the local recycling centre wouldn't take them, but the um, main recycling centre for our area would, which is Guildford in our case. Now, the rules and regulations vary between councils, but for us, what it meant was, so long as we bought a copy of our council tax bill and a copy of our ID, the recycling centre will take an allocated amount of asbestos from each property owner in the area. Um, and so that's what we had to do to dispose of it properly and within the regulations. So you'll need to look on, I think, a, health, a helpful resource is to phone the local council or ch look it up on their website and there's normally guidelines and uh, information about how to go about it but if you were to pay somebody to get rid of it it's generally very expensive um, and certainly if you're a contractor or a business the regulations are completely different and you'll need to pay to dispose of it that's pretty much it for this video if you found it useful or you want to see how this project progresses Please consider subscribing. Thanks.